Hey guys, this is Sandeep Sky, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 on KVM QEMU with Libfort on Arch Linux. So, let's get started. So, first of all, what you need to do is you need to download the Windows 11 ISO file from the official Microsoft website, and after that, you need to download the Vert IO drivers for Windows. So, I will leave a link for this GitHub repository in the description box below. And download the latest Vert IO Windows ISO and after that you need to <coughs> install Vert IO so after that you need to install the QEMU Vert Manager using these commands so I'll keep the commands in the description box below so please check it out so let me install the QEMU manager so you can use this command so I have already installed it so I'm not going to install it again and after that you need to install SWTPM to enable the TPM 2.0 for Windows 11 on virtual machine so since I've already installed I'm not going to install it again after that you need to enable the lib for T service so use this command to enable the lib for T and after that we need to add our current user to the lib for group so replace your username with your actual username and after that use this command to restart the lib for T service and after that I recommend you to reboot the system once and after that open the virtual machine manager now click this icon to create a new virtual machine now choose the option which says local install media and click on forward now select the ISO file which we just downloaded earlier for Windows 11 so in my case it is Windows 11 24H2 and click on choose volume after that click on forward now if you have 8 GB of RAM then you can give at least 4 GB of RAM for Windows 11 since I have 16 GB of RAM I'm going to give 8 GB of RAM for virtual machine and since I have up to 8 cores available I'm going to give at least 4 cores for Windows 11 and after that click on forward now I recommend you to give at least 40 GB of free space for Windows 11 So if you have a larger SSD or hard drive then you can give more than 40 GB. I recommend to give at least 60 GB free space for Windows. After that click on forward. Now make sure to check this option which is customize configuration before install. And click on finish. Now if it says virtual network is not active then you need to start the virtual network by clicking yes. Now after that it will show our configuration for Windows 11. Now you can leave the chipset on Q35 and firmware on UEFI. Now go to the add hardware option and select storage and device type as CD-ROM device. Now click on manage and click on browse local and select the first IO drivers which we just downloaded earlier and click on finish now after that click on the SATA disk 1 and use the disk bus as vert IO this is the uh, virtual machine file for Windows 11 and you must use the vert IO driver for maximum performance and click on apply now you can leave the display on spice and another major step is click on TPM go to advanced option and make sure that the version is 2.0 and click on apply now that's it for the settings now click on begin installation Now press any key to boot from the CD-ROM. Let me just 
now select the language and the current time format just click on next select I don't have a product key now choose the Windows edition I'm going to install Windows 11 Pro accept the license terms now here click on this option which says load driver now click on browse now click on the first IO win CD-ROM after that scroll down and find the folder which says first IO store open it now look for Windows W11 folder open it and select the AMD 64 folder and click on OK now it should show up a driver which says what I SCI controller click on it and select install <laughs> now it will show unallocated disk space which we created earlier now select the space and click on next now it will give some summary for installing just click on install now this will take a while so I'm going to fast forward this part so finally we have installed Windows 11 and put it into it so now let's fix the resolution by installing the spice drivers so for that open your web browser on VM Now search for spice space. Now click on the first link from the spice space dot org. Now scroll down and go to Windows binaries and download the spice case tools. Now after downloading the Spice Case tools, open your file explorer and install it. Choose install. Now after that click on finish now restart your virtual machine
now if you click on this view and then scale display and auto size to vm window now your vm will automatically resize and it will show the correct resolution in settings now let's enable clipboard and file sharing in between vm to host and host to vm so <clears throat> what you have to do is open your web browser and search for winfsp now click on download winfsp from the first link and download the winfsp installer now after downloading that now click on the vert io cd drive which we just used earlier and install the first io win guest tools click on i agree and install click on next accept next install Now click on finish. Now install WinFSP as well. Now close it. Now search for services.msc. Now scroll down and search for word IOFS. As you can see, this is the service. Now right click on it and select properties. Now select startup type to automatic and then click on start now click on apply and then ok now shut down your virtual machine now create a folder on your home directory which you want to share with your virtual machine I'm going to give the name as share and click on create so as you can see this is the folder that I want to share now in virtual machine click on this icon to show virtual hardware details now click on memory and select enable shared memory and click on apply now click on hard add hardware now select file system now give the path which you want to share for me it was slash home slash my username slash the folder name now I also want to be the same name in the virtual machine so I'm going to give it a share now make sure the driver is for IOFS now click on finish now after that you can unmount the windows installation iso and for io iso so just click on this icon click on apply and then remove hardware same thing for for io click on this apply and then remove hardware Now click on this icon again and hit play.
now if you open your file explorer go to this PC you will see the shared folder so if I create any new folder here or any new file example text document and name it test so something like one two three and save it now if I go into my home folder as you can see this is the folder that I created on VM and its content is one two three now add, let's add four five six and hit refresh now as you can see the changes are reflected here immediately so that's it for the video guys thank you for watching i hope you found this video helpful and if you did please leave a like and subscribe to my channel thank you